average velocity. Now we consider a particle moving back and forth along the x-axis. Suppose the particle has changed its position from x1 to x2 during a time interval delta t equals to t2 minus t1. Its displacement is delta x equals to x2 minus x1 into i cap. x1 and x2 are the position vectors drawn from the origin along x-axis to the respective positions. As the motion is one-dimensional, we can drop the vector notation and indicate the direction by means of positive and negative sign. The average velocity of the particle is defined as the displacement delta x per unit time interval delta t. Vx equals to delta x by delta t equals to x2 minus x1 by t2 minus t1. Equation 1. The subscript indicates that the motion is along x-axis. Average velocity has dimensions of length divided by time, that is, lt power minus 1, and its SI unit is ms power minus 1. Average velocity is independent of the path followed by the particle between the initial and final positions. No details of the motion are provided by the average velocity. It gives us only the result of the motion. The geometrical representation of average velocity is given in figure. A straight line is drawn between initial and final points on the curve. This line forms the hypotenuse of the right triangle with height delta x and base delta t. The slope of the hypotenuse is delta x by delta t. The average velocity of the particle during a time interval delta t is equal to the slope of the straight line joining initial and final points on the position time graph. Position time graph of a particle moving along x-axis. The initial point P1 at T1 and final P2 at T2 are joined by a straight line. The average velocity is the slope of this line delta x by delta t and depends on the time interval. In variable motion, the average velocity depends on the interval of the time during which the velocity is calculated. Only on uniform motion, the average velocity is a constant value and is same for all the intervals of time during which the value is calculated. The magnitude of average velocity is equal to the average speed for motion along a straight line and it is a scalar quantity. But average velocity is a vector.